Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. So, in previous uh, two uh, lectures, uh, we have studied a lot about uh, the brain and spinal cord. For today's topic, date is a neuron. So, what is neuron? The brain and spinal cord, it consists of cells and these cells are actually called neuron. So how we will define neuron? Neuron, this is the structure and function unit of the nervous system. So what does it mean structure unit and function unit? Structure unit mean that all uh, the brain and spinal cord, it is composed of the neuron cells. And function mean that all the function of the nervous system that is also occur inside this neuron. So why it is called they, this is the structure and function unit of the nervous system. Now we are going to discuss the uh, structure of a typical neuron. So a typical neuron cell consists of these three parts. Number one, it is called cell body. Number two, is called dendrites and number three date is called exon so this is the structure of a typical neuron three uh, parts cell body dendrites and exon you draw the diagram of this typical neuron this is the cell body, this is the central part of the neuron. So this is the central part of the neuron and it consists of nucleus. So this is the nucleus okay, and this is the central part. And uh, in the here is cytoplasm and other cell organelles they are also present in this cytoplasm like mitochondria, Golgi complex etc. They are present in this area and this is the cytoplasm and this is the nucleus. And this part is called cell body. Dendrite and exon, actually this, these are the elongation of the uh, neuron cell. Some of the parts are processed, they are extend or come out from the neuron and these extension are called dendrite and exon. So these are the dendrites, these extension, these are the dendrite they come out from the cell body so these are dendrites and usually a long extension they come out from the cell body and that is exon this long extension this is called usually uh, exon that is long single and long so this is exon So dendrites and exon, these are the elongation of the neuron cell. Uh, some effety sheet they deposit above the neuron, uh, sorry, exon. This is the effety sheet, and that effety sheet is called myelin sheet. It is composed, and it works as an insulator for the exon. So that is the myelin sheet and myelin sheet they cover the exam. 
my link sheet. So this is the structure of a typical neuron. Uh, usually the nerve impulse they enter through dendrite and leave it through exon. What are nerve impulse? This is another topic. Nerve impulse. Nerve impulse. Though you will study the nerve impulse in uh, class 9, 10 and first year in very detail but up to your level. So nerve impulse is actually these are the electrochemical changes. These are the electro electro chemical changes across the neuron cell neuron cell membrane and these are in the form of charges like plus charges negative charges in and out so when the message is conducted in the neuron, so they are in the form of electrochemical changes and these electrochemical changes take place across the membrane of the neuron cell. Keep in mind that this cell body, it will be always present in the brain and spinal cord. And this dendrites and exome. It may be present inside the brain or spinal cord or it is scattered throughout the body as you have studied that in the peripheral nervous system that a network of nerves that are arise from brain and spinal cord and actually that are the dendrite and exon that are scattered throughout the body. So this was a, a typical a neuron structure. Now we are going uh, to uh, discuss uh, the types of neuron. It, what are the types of neuron? Types of neuron. So there are three main kinds of neuron. One is called sensory neuron. The second one date is a motor neuron and the third one is associative neuron. Associative neuron. It is also sometimes called intermediate neuron. Intermediate neuron. So let us discuss uh, these uh, neurons uh, one by one uh, in detail. First of all, the sensory neuron. The sensory neuron they carry message from the sensory organ to the central nervous system. For example, if I touch this boat, so there are sensory cells, and these sensory cells ending, sensory receptors are there for the touch. So if I touch this board, so it carry message from the uh, uh, receptor. This is the receptor for the touch. So it carry message to the central nervous system, and it aware the central nervous system about the stimulus. So sensory neuron it take impulse. The kinds the kind kind of neuron they take message of the stimulus from receptor to the 
brain or spinal cord. So let's suppose they, this is the, 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 the sensory neuron, this is the cell body, this is the dendrite, sorry this is the exon and this is the dendrite and this is the receptor. Receptor and receptor get stimulus. What is stimulus? Stimulus any chain, internal or external chain, it is called stimulus. If this is a hot object, a stimulus, so receptor are there in this finger for hot object, and the sensory neuron will take message from the receptor to the central nervous system that is brain and spinal cord. So this is the function of the sensory neuron. Now come toward the second one that is motor neuron. Motor neuron it take order from the brain and spinal cord and the order is given to the effectors. Effectors are actually muscle or glands. So the what is the motor neuron motor neuron the neuron did take order or message from the brain from the brain or spinal cord to the effector and effector are muscles or glands. So this is called motor neuron. They take message, sorry, order from the brain or spinal cord and order is given to the effector and effector date is muscles. So muscle will be either contract or relax and it will show movement. If this is gland, so gland will secrete some of the chemicals and there may be some enzyme etc. later on. Uh, we will discuss that. But uh, let us uh, draw uh, the structure of a typical uh, neuron, uh, motor neuron. This is a typical uh, sensory neuron sensory neuron and this is motor neuron this is the cell body these are the dendrites is earlier we have discussed the structure of neuron so this is the cell body, these are the dendrites and this is the long exon. So this is a motor neuron. And this ending there is attached to the effectors. It is muscles or glands. So it gives order to the muscle and gland. Now the next one there is associative or intermediate neuron. Associative or intermediate neuron that is present between these two neurons. So this is a an associative neuron and may it make a junction between the sensory neuron and motor neuron. It take uh, awareness of the stimulus, then analyze it, and then the order is uh, transferred to the motor neuron. And this sensory neuron, sorry, associative neuron, this is associative neuron,
as a whole a dendroid and a zone as a whole it is present inside the brain while the sensory and motor neuron their extension may be present inside the uh, brain and spinal cord or maybe in the form of network they are scattered throughout the world so these were the types of the neuron associative neuron definition that, that this is a kind of neuron that there is present between the uh, sensory neuron and motor neuron so these were the three types of the neuron and uh, keep in mind that uh, inside the brain there are 100 billion neurons they are present so uh, these were the, about uh, the neuron inshallah in the next lecture we will discuss that how the nervous system works so we will uh, collect all these things like the brain, spinal cord, sensory neuron, motor neuron. In one lecture, we will combine these things. So thank you very much.